Good morning, or depending when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, I had a voice radio. So today, we're going to be looking at the 2010 World Championship deck, the very best deck in the world in 2010. We've done a few of these videos looking at decks like the Beedrill deck that won in 2009 and the Gardevoir deck that won in 2008 and all of that good stuff. But today, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to look at Lux Chomp. Now, we have looked at the SP cards in general, but what we have not done is ever sat down and actually really taken apart a particular Lux Chomp deck, and that is absolutely what I would like to do today. And this was the World Championship deck from 2010. Yuta Komatsuda went and won the entire World Championships with what was at the time a fairly unusual list. So, Let's have a look, starting off with the Pokemon, and we see two two lines to begin with. First of all, a two two line of Garchomp C level X. Garchomp C level X was over the top good. It's what took SP decks from the fringes of play to the best decks in the format. Now, the regular Garchomp was fine. You had a few decent attacks, but really it was all about Garchomp C level X. Free colorless energy, and by this point we got double colorless energy back, which meant you could do this very easily. Dragon Rush, 80 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon, and it got an instant KO on stuff like Uxi, which was quite good, or stuff like Kaleido, which was in every single deck ever. And I could keep going, but you get the point here. It got easy KOs. As if that wasn't enough, Healing Breath actually healed all of your SP Pokemon completely when you evolved up. You evolve into Garchomp and automatically heal all of your Pokemon. That does not seem fair. We then saw a 2-2 line of Luxray GL level X. Again, Trash Bolt was fine on the non-level X, but really it's about the level X. 2 energy, 60 damage, do 30 to one of your Pokemon. But then, of course, you just do it wherever you want, and then Garchomp comes in and heals it. And then Bright Look was a gusting effect. And this was back in the format where we didn't have cards like Lysander or Pokemon Catcher. This is in a format where gusting effects were not prevalent. Well, that's all right, because we had Luxray. And sometimes you'd even drag a Pokemon in the active to strand it with Luxray so you could snipe around with Garchomp. Thing is, with them being level X's, you could only play four in combination of the regular and the level X. Yuta went for a 2-2 line so that he could get the level X's out. Some players went for a 3-1 line, but if your level X was prized, it could be a bit of a pain. You had Azalf to grab these Pokemon out if you had to, but you didn't really want to have to do it. We also saw a 1-1 line of Dialga G level X. And, I mean, Dialga was good for a whole bunch of reasons. But primarily here, Dialga G had Deafen. 10 damage, and it stopped your opponent playing trainers or stadium cards during their following turn. Now, we did see Dialga decks generally which would play a whole bunch of special metal energy and really try and sit there and tank. That's not what you can do with a 1-1 Dialga line. What you can do is sit there and do a bit of damage with Deafen, and then when you evolve up, you get access to a Poker Body, which turns off all of your opponent's Poker Bodies. So things like Spiritomb that might be turning off item cards, oh no, it doesn't. And that's generally why you play Dialga here. You've got Time Crystal and you've got Deafen. They can be very, very useful indeed. Now, we also see a few other Pokemon here that come in and around. Dragonite FB was just a Garchomp counter. See, Garchomp was weak to Colorless, which means that Garchomp would KO Garchomp. But you didn't want to have to waste your Garchomps KOing Garchomps. So you would play something like Dragonite, which could come in with Mac Blow. 80 damage to an SP Pokemon for free energy. Not bad at all, ladies and gentlemen. It was just a Dragonite counter. We saw Crobat here that's got Flash Bite. You do an extra 10 damage. And doing extra damage is always good. And we can reuse it with Poketurn. We'll have a look at that in a moment. Point being, it was great. Absolutely great. We see one Lucario GL, and the reason we see Lucario GL very simply is to make all of your weakness timed two. Because weakness wasn't times two back then. And stuff like Machamp, 
You really needed to have a times two weakness so you could get rid of it with Uxie. We'll see in a second. Stuff like Gyarados, you really needed a times two weakness so you could get rid of it with Luxray. Lucario came in and did just that. We see one Bronzong G here, which allows you to move an energy from one of your SP Pokemon to another. That sounds fun. You could actually move it from an SP to a non-SP, but you couldn't move it from a non-SP. Had to be moved from an SP. Then you put two damage counters on, but again, Garchomp's going to heal you right up, so you have no issues with that at all. And we do see one copy of Azalf here, because sometimes you do have key Pokemon prize. If you're against Machamp, you want that Lucario as soon as possible. And then we see two Uxie and one Uxie level X. Uxie at the time, ladies and gentlemen, was just ubiquitous. It was absolutely everywhere. Play it down, draw two, you got seven cards in your hand. Yowza. Now, you also had Psychic Restore that did 20 damage and put Uxie on the bottom of your deck. This was really important against Gengar decks because if you use Psychic Restore to KO a Gengar, you weren't there for the fainting spell flip and your opponent couldn't then flip her heads and get a cheeky KO on you. I hated fainting spell. But it was largely here for setup. At some point during the game, you get it in the active because you can only level X in the active. Level X into Uxie and now you have trade off. Once per turn, look at the top two cards of your deck. Put one in your hand and the other on the bottom of your deck. But then you've got Zenblade that does 60 for a double colorless energy. This is important because Machamp's got 130. So if you've got Lucario down, Weakness puts it up to 120, then Crobat comes in and gets a cheeky little KO. As a side note, the Gyarados maths works pretty much the same way. Your Lux Ray's only doing 60, so with Lucario and Crobat, it goes up to 130, and then you're absolutely fine. Lots of tricks in this deck, lots of little things you can do, but all of it was absolutely needed. Now, in terms of trainers, the main supporter here was Cyrus's Conspiracy. You searched your deck for a basic energy, a Team Galactic's Invention Trainer card, and a supporter and generally speaking the supporter would be another cyrus you'd get a cyrus chain going and you get an item and a basic energy every single turn free professor oak's new theory was super super unusual for decks like sp at the time they didn't play professor oak's new theory they should have done Shuffle your hand into your deck, draw six cards. It's amazing. Most of them didn't. It's one of the reasons Utah's was so much better. Two Pokemon Collector, because Pokemon Collector was a ridiculous card that allowed you to search for free basics and put them in your hand. You can get Uxie to play it down and you set up, and you can grab all of your Pokemon except the level X's here because they're all basic. Two Roseanne's Research. Roseanne's was a really fun card. Search for two in any combination of basic energy and basic Pokemon. Well, pretty much all your Pokemon are basic, and you're only playing a couple basic energy here, and you're actually playing a couple different types. So Roseanne's research came in super, super handy. One copy of Aaron's Collection, and that really was just your recovery card here. Aaron's Collection said that you could search your discard pile for two in any combination of Pokemon SP and basic energy and put them in your hand. You can reuse your level X's or your basics. Remember, you're playing a 2-2 Garchomp line and a 2-2 Luxray line here. You need to be able to recover these cards. One Luxury Ball, because you played Luxury Ball in every deck back then. I mean, it just let you search for any non-Level X Pokemon. It was over-the-top great. But you couldn't play it if you had one in your discard, so you would only play one. One Pokemon Communication, you basically swap a Pokemon in your hand for one in your deck. It was good for getting the right Pokemon. And then we get to the Team Galactic's item cards. These are very important. So we've got Energy Gain, Power Spray, Poker Turn, and SP Radar. Energy Gain, you attach to one of your Pokemon, and then it reduces the attack cost by one. Luxray Level X now attacks for just a Lightning Energy. Garchomp C Level X now attacks for just a Double Colorless Energy. Dragonite, just a Double Colorless Energy. Dialga G, just a Metal Energy. You see where we're going here, ladies and gentlemen? It's basically broken power spray allows you to just turn off one of your opponent's abilities 
or poker powers as it was back then, not poker body. But remember, you're turning off poker bodies with Dialga as long as you have got free Pokemon SP in play. Your opponent uses a Uxie to set up, you power spray it or any other poker power. It was so good. Poker turn allowed you to just pick up a Pokemon SP. Firstly, this could be useful just for, you know, picking up and healing one of your Pokemon. But also here, you could actually just pick up Crobat G, play it back down again, and then all of a sudden you've got access to that ability again. And believe me, ladies and gentlemen, this saw an awful lot of play. An awful lot of play. Hey ho. And SP Radar was basically just an amazing card. It was kind of like a Pokemon communication for SP Pokemon. But you put any card back in your deck and search for a Pokemon SP. And remember, all of these cards, Energy Gain, Power Spray, Poketurn, SP Radar, could all be searched out with Cyrus's Conspiracy. And then there was one copy of Night Maintenance because it recovered your Pokemon and Energy. So, you know, you kind of had to. Aaron's was good, but it was a supporter, so night maintenance as well. In terms of your energy here, we got four double colorless because, you know, Garchomp. We've got warp energy. Warp energy was really quite fun. It's a colorless energy, and when you attach it, it's a switch. Simple as that. But maybe you've got a Uxie level X in the active that you need to get out of the active. It's a good little switching card, and it's an energy at the same time. Remember, if you use this for Uxie, you could then attach a second energy, and Zen Blade is up and rolling. And then two basic lightning, two basic metal, lightning for Luxray, and metal for Dialga. I know two of each seems super low, but remember, you've got Cyrus's Conspiracy and Roseanne's Research. You could deal. Here's the list as a whole. It is probably the best Luxray list out there. Although I'm sure some people will disagree. If you've got a better one, that's what the comment section is there for. It's a really, really fun deck. It was the best deck in the format. And admittedly, Uta did manage to rip a Uxi level X off a top deck in the World Championship final. The turn before he was probably going to lose. But that's not the point, ladies and gentlemen. It's a good deck. It won world, and I want to bring you all the world's winning decks. So I'm going to continue doing so. But I want to hear from you guys in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this deck. Let me know if you think this was a good deck, if you played it, if you played against it. Share your memories. Go nuts, but be nice. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter or the Wossy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcgradio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, etc., head on over to patreon.com slash ptcgradio where you can do just that. And check out my video game slash Dragon Ball channel, Wossy plays for some more wassy action but by far the most important thing as always is to look after yourselves until next time thank you very much for watching my name is ross and you've been watching ptcg radio